I think they both do. I think Virginia Tech stepped up, made some right plays, the, the right plays. And I think Duquesne fighting back from being down. Uh, they certainly have some confidence. I've always felt as a coach, these first three or four trips right here are very key in this overtime. Great execution by Virginia Tech. What a terrific pass by Jeff Allen. The backdoor cut gives Hudson 13 in the ball game now, and it gives the Hokies the lead. Holding. Well, it looks like he's got that uh, flame in his eye right now, too. He's rejected, though. Here we go. Hokies with their running shoes on. And there's the whistle and the foul to Aaron Jackson. Do a little bit of different things, all of them. Uh, they're a tough team to guard in that respect. Hudson out of Charlotte. It's both free throws after Aaron Jackson just picked up his fourth foul. We're in the overtime here in Blacksburg. 82-78. This is Jackson to Evans. Back to Jackson. See, one thing that he does up here, he, he commands so much attention. When he starts to penetrate, he's a very good foul shooter. Clutch foul shooter. Jackson. Shooting 55% from the field that knows he's going to dance with who brought him to the dance and he's going to get him back in here pretty quick. But he's got to have a chance to get a little bit of a, get a little bit of a blow here. <laughs> Gotta give him some oxygen over there. You know, it's funny. Ron Everhart was telling you this afternoon as the rolls in another two ball. He's got 21. He had six at halftime. Huge second half for him. Virginia Tech did a good job against the zone. Duquesne went zone. Masayo got in the middle of the zone, found a soft spot right there in the middle of the zone at the foul line. They did a great job of finding him with the basketball right there. Oh, tough break right there, but they recovered. Well, spin move and a nice job by B.J. Montero, the freshman with his first field goal in the second half. Aaron Jackson's ready. He says, Coach, put me back in. I don't want to sit on the sidelines. He's ready to go. I was going to say earlier this afternoon, Ron Everhart uh, telling you there's the blocking foul against uh, Evans. They're warming up. He didn't even sit down, coach. Yeah, that's like giving him baskets. It's like giving him a layup. And you've got that kind of a foul shooter right there on the foul line. Automatic from the stripe. He went to the line or made 200, who made 209 free throws this year. That's a school record here at Virginia Tech. Jackson off the dribble. Oh, he threw it away. Give him credit for how they defended right there. Don't forget Northwestern Tulsa coming up next at the completion of this overtime game. As Northwestern Tulsa open up their NIT action. You Seth Greenberg, you know, you're as a coach, you feel comfortable when you've got a guy like Delaney on the floor, but he's such a great foul shooter, and he's got poise. He's not in a hurry right here with this possession. Whoa, Thompson. Miscommunication on the defensive end that time. Well, that, that was created by that's created by Delaney. I mean, he, he created that play. The ball fake on the pass, the penetration, the poise, not being in a hurry. Line drive, free ball, Jackson. He's got 34. Me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> 15 times this year, they've shot 50% or better. I like the idea of pressing right here by Duquesne. I like the fact they put some pressure, give him a look. Make him handle the ball against full court pressure, not allow him to get right into an easy set. Well, Jackson was sitting down. He just stood up and grabbed Everhart from behind and said, I want to go back in, coach. 21 on the shot clock now, going inside. JT Thompson, there's the whistle on the foul. At the foul line. And he knocks it down. Not the start instead of Shek Jakite. And he knocks down both, coach. 61% foul shooter, calmly makes two. That's big for Virginia Tech. 90 points for the Hokies. They come in averaging 72. Duquesne averaging 78 to lead the 8-10. Jackson off the crossover. He's fouled. He'll be going back to the line. Hours and hours in the gym in the summertime. He's helped this young man improve. Tough one right there. 35 in the ball game for him, and he's going back out. He's to get some stops. And again, the pressure right here is good. But now we've got to find a way, Duquesne, to get a defensive stop right here. Minute 40 to go in the overtime. 90 to 86. Winner takes on the winner of Baylor and Georgetown. Coming up after this game, it's Northwestern and Tulsa. Allen steps back. Huge game, but I don't know, Coach. Put yourself in the well, shoes got, of the head coach. Well, you got to like his shot? confidence. You got to like the confidence. That short corner shot sometimes a tough one. Evans with the floater. 
You know, sometimes when you sub offense for defense, it's tough to get that player back in the game sometimes. <laughs> And uh, he's at the table wanting to come back in. But again, Duquesne's got to get another stop. We've got to do it back to back. No timeouts. Can't call the timeout to get him in. Inside a minute now. Vasayo finds the open man. Hudson gives it up. 11 on the shot clock. And Delaney. It's right there. Number 23 at the foul line. Here on the foul line, is it going to be a national star next year? Uh, as a point guard, off guard, combo guard, terrific player. Here we go, Jackson with the ball. He has 35. His career high is 36. Got a shake and bake. Evans! He hit the shot. It's a three. Hokey fans thought he walked. What did you think, Coach? Well, I think he kept his foot on the ground, but again, as a freshman, good play. And he's out of control. And there's the whistle before the shot by Delaney with uh, 28 seconds to go. Great play by the freshman right here. Keeps his foot on the ground. Remember, this is a freshman on the road. What a nice play. What wow, a nice, nice play. Job. Steps nice up, knocks job. it down. And Mr. Automatic goes back to the free throw line, and he Whoa. misses one. And Duquesne's got to find a way to score. Oh, so he, he misses, misses both. both. Wow, that changes things. There's a rarity. 92-89 outside. Yes! Are you kidding wow. me? Are you kidding me? Aaron Jackson, what a player. 38. You said he needed 25 or 30. He might wind up with 40. Vasayo, JT Thompson gets it. Offensive rebound, tough hustle, gutsy play for Virginia Tech. It's a two-point game. Number one's got to have it in his hands. Six seconds to go, down two, 94-92. Jackson sees an opening, and he's got it. What a play by Jackson. To send it to another overtime. What a play. Wow, talk about calm. And he's on his knees. He collapsed as he headed over to the bench. But great poise right here. Nice offensive rebound. JT Thompson, tough, physical. I like his game tonight and what he's done for his team. And here, Duquesne gets the ball in the, guy, in the right guy's hands. Great crossover right here. Blow by. Strong to the rim. Where was the help defense, Mark? 